Yeah, the name is Masmata. It's a Middle Eastern name. Let's give it up for Lebanese cucumbers. Thank you very much. No. <laughs> Speaking of cucumbers, I was on Grinder a few minutes ago. Good to see some familiar faces. There's quite a few in here, Moy. Grinder is very weird. I don't know if anybody's ever used it, but uh, you meet a lot of strange people on there. I uh, met this guy. <laughs> He was so discreet, all his photos were x-rays. <laughs> this guy was so hairy. The Arab guy, when we had sex, it was like two koalas fencing. <laughs> we used to rub our chest together so hard, our Chinese neighbor would come downstairs and go, why you always do burn out in house? Whole building smell like smoke. <laughs> you know my son Paul has asthma. Whole building vote no. Me vote no. Whole building vote no. I'm like, listen here, Miss Saigon. <laughs> she didn't know that my boyfriend was the postie. No one in the building's voting no. <laughs> Came out to my dad uh, when I was 16. Give it up for that. Yeah, yeah. He accepted last week. <laughs> Arabs are a bit slow. We just got the internet. I remember when I told him, I said, Dad, I'm gay. He goes, You know, God made Adam and Steve. Not Adam and Poof the Bastard. <laughs> I said, no, I'm gay, you have to accept. He's like, oh my God, Ya Allah, Ya Mazen, Ya Allah. Because Arab people stomp when they're angry, aren't they? Because we're the descendants of horses. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Allah, Allah, what I'm going to tell my cousin, what I'm going to tell my cousin, what I'm going to tell my... I'm like, Dad, it's just mom, calm down. <laughs> Because Arabs knew their cousins. <laughs> Why does he mean Arabs knew their cousins? <laughs> Mom was all right with it, though. I remember the day that I told her, I looked her straight in the eyes, and I knew that it was summer because, well, she was allowed to take the strap off. <laughs> oh, you can't say that. And she said to me, she said, Mazin, you know that your father and I are cousin? I said, yeah. She said, and you know we have 15 children. I said, yes. Yeah. She goes, well, one of you had to come out retarded. <laughs> that was mum. You guys travel? Anybody travel after uh, September 11? Anybody any travel? Yeah? Just any travel? Yeah? It's changed after September 11. It changed, didn't it? A lot of changes. They got this thing called the uh, Muzi Fondle now. You know what the Muzi Fondle is? Random check. So I go to Tullamarine every week. So I fuck this. If Grinder doesn't work, this will. There's this guy named uh, Charles there, he's six foot four. His hand's that big. His fingers are so long, he can change light bulbs like this. Walks up to the line one day and I go, oh, he's got new gloves on today. <laughs> and 
And then the ripped kind too. <laughs> Walked up to the line and he's like, uh, go through. And I said, where's the muzzy fondle? What do you mean go through? I've been doing this for years. It's, it's like a scene, you know, like, like a Middle Eastern person is like this on a sand and it's like, nee, like sad and things. It's like very dramatic. And I said, no, 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 this is not right. So I just said, I'm going to blow up the airport. <laughs> I'm not walking through the airport. airport. said, excuse me? I said, I'm blow the airport. Says, come with me. Man, they took me to a room. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way. That month I had more glove than the Mayweather McGregor fight. <laughs> hey, you guys have been great. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>